Hey everyone, it's Sue here. So I feel like I'm doing some marathon um, crafting this weekend for sure. So I'm working in my small dilutions journal and I don't know if this is going to be too big. I'm going to give it a try. Um, yeah, these might be a little bit too big, but you know what? Oh, I'm going to go with it. Oh, I don't know if I can get this across the two pages. Oh, it worked. Oh, my. Okay, good, 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 good. So, anyway, I'm working in my small dilutions journal. This was a page that... Um, I don't know what was on it under this black... <laughs> I have no idea, but obviously it was something I didn't like. And a while back, I actually covered it with, I think it's black gesso I have on here. And um, so today, I'm going to finish this page. Because it's kind of been sitting, right? Doing nothing. And I'm finishing all of these pages that are half done in my journals. So it already had this flower, and I was thinking of taking, obviously, what, as you see, uh, that was some leftover paint from my previous um, video. Sorry for saying um so much. I don't know. Do you all do that? I have to get out of that habit of saying um all the time, for sure. Um, see, now I just said it again. All right, I'm going to try not to say, um, everybody. All righty. So, I'm going to kind of go with the flower that's on here at this point. And it was actually from a stencil. I remember this stencil, so I know exactly what it is. But of course, it's just white, so I'm going to see if I can make it, have it make any sense and look like a f flower with, with leaves on it. All right, that's not awful. So I'm going to put some dots in the middle. And these, this paint, I took out a whole bunch of them. I got at um, Tuesday morning, gosh, a long time, a year ago maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to look for a price on one of them. There isn't one, but they were probably what, $1.39, $1.49, something like that. And I liked them because they had the this kind of a tip. And I enjoy, you know, taking that and using it kind of like, almost like a fine liner, right? where you get to draw or even write with it because it's a nice fine tip on the end. Okay, so I'm actually trying to make the middle of these tex textures textured. Oh my goodness, that was hard to say. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, so far so good. Now I need something green for the leaves and the stem. So I was not prepared for this. So let's see what I have. I'll pull out some acrylic paint from Prima from the Art Alchemy collection, which I have not used yet. And I need a really thin brush. And I'm going to make whoop, my stems and leaves. Sorry, I have to think. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't talk and think at the same time. All right, so this one I'm just going to go darker here. Or not darker, thicker. To cover up that white line. And go out here for my leaves. And I'll come back in with a different color green as well to give this some um, um, shading and to make them look more like leaves and just one solid color. 
So I'm totally taking advantage of having Memorial Day off and totally enjoying. I have, if you could see my floor right now, <laughs> I have, oh my goodness, maybe six different projects laying on my floor that I want to do that all I have to do is like bend over and I have like piles, piles of, um, piles of papers and, and stuff that I want to work on. All right, I'm going to see if I can just put a couple leaves down here as well. And okay. So it's a little bit hard on the black like this with the green, but that's okay. And uh, this is just the first little coat here. Nothing super fancy, nothing super neat. Um, oh, I think that looks cute. Okay, so let me just dry that just a tad and then I'll pull in just a little bit heavier green. And I think I'm going to, <laughs> it depends how quickly I can get this dried. Now, you know what? I was going to pull in like a, a Posca paint pen or whatever, but I think I'll pull in this Distress Paint and mowed Lawn, and that should give it just enough different shading just to make the, the leaves and the stems look a little bit more realistic. Okay, so I'll just put a little bit over here on the side. I hope you can see see that you know it's fairly close in color but not exact so let's see if we can oh yeah that looks better so I'm just going and just putting a little bit of darker color on top of the lighter color and it helps to give it um, like I said you know, a little additional dimension and more realistic. Alrighty, that's good. So again, I'm working fast because I want to do this in 15 minutes. I'm trying to do a bunch of videos in 15 minutes so I don't have to edit them because I want to get stuff done right and not spend my whole day editing this one down here doesn't look so much like a leaf to me <laughs> but that's okay that's all right you know I think I need to just make it longer maybe okay and this paint, I'm actually putting on fairly thick. And when you see it up close, you'll see that it does have a, you know, a bit of dimension. All right. So I like that. What else? What else? What else? Um, how are we at in time? So we're eight minutes. So I have some time. I also pulled out some bling. I received this in a swap and I cut it it actually this all came, whoops all came together in one piece and I cut them into just the two rows I also have this I purchased I mean these go way back right if you're like a, a project lifer and um, you probably have these in all different colors in your stash but I recently bought them. I'm sure I got them on clearance at Michael's. And I'm thinking I'm just going to put one on the top of the page over there to use it up. I mean, I do have a whole package of them. So, and then like on my last video, I used some of these butterflies. And I think I'm going to pull those in as well. So let's see. I don't want it to... Uh, you know, maybe I like it just like that. So what am I going to use? I'm going to pull in some of this Art Basics Heavy Body Gel. 
just to adhere the bling. And I'm just going to put, whoops, a little bit on the bottom. And I like that it's gloppy because that's what's going to hold it on and it will dry clear. And let's see if I don't make too much of a mess here. All right, it needs to go a little bit longer than that. So out to here. Ah. All right. And it just kind of goes right into this gel. So I'm using the gel as an adhesive. Perfect. All right, just cleaning up the globs on the end that aren't necessary. So again, right now that looks white, but it will dry transparent. Nice. I'm going to put this up top here just because I think I'm going to put it in just a little bit. Um, all right. I like it so far. Let me pull in something from here. I like the little purple butterfly. Can go down here. And I'm going to use the words believe. Whoops. I want it on there straight. Oh no. Believe and hope. I'll put this one down here. And I'm going to put something up over there. I'm thinking of another butterfly. These aren't necessarily the right colors. I can go with this one right here. And he's actually going to be going off the page. Just to, oh, this is from something else. <laughs> That's a little uh, paper clip from another page. <laughs> so I have to just cut off his one little wing right here. And guess what? Woo -woo. This is done. This is done. So again, when I hold this up, the white behind this bling down here, it will be transparent. So here we go. Another done page on my quest to finish up these journals. Well, I'm not finishing up the journals, so to speak, but the pages that I never completed, that I didn't like, I'm going back and I am finishing those pages up. Here we go. So thank you. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. All right, bye-bye, everybody. I'm sure there will be another video after this one. Bye-bye. <laughs>